What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, continuing our Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013 Revenge playthrough series. Last video we struggled our way through Audric, but were able to defeat him and now we are up against Miss Liliana. And uh, per your request, I will be doing a different deck. I've been playing the Goblin in the Mill deck. Time to mix it up, let's go with some Mono Green. Big stompy beefy creatures. Let's see how this does against Liliana. Oh, Liliana. You're kind of cute, but also a bit nasty. Look at the people you hang out with, gosh. You are the company you keep, Liliana. Don't you want to be above this? Above the dead? Who knows what I'm talking about? I'm a huge weirdo. All right, uh, Liliana. Some stats. Blah, 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 blah. Pause, pause the video if you'd like to read these. I am more than happy to have you do that. I am just not going to sit here and go through that stuff. We are here for some MTG, and that's what we're getting straight into. Let's take a look at this open in hand here. Not too shabby. Liliana does play first. Primordial Hydra, two green and X. Uh, that's however many mana I want to pay. Comes into play with that number of 1-1 one, one counters on it. During my upkeep, I double the 1-1 one, one counters on Primordial Hydra. If it has 10 or more counters on it, then it gets Trample. Also... Two colors and a green for a 2-2. Can sack it to gain four life. Three colors and a green. It's a star star hex proof. Star, uh, the power and toughness is equal to the number of forced I control. And lastly, prey upon. Target creature I control fights another target creature. All right, let's keep this, I guess. And we will see how this does. Liliana. So Liliana's all about uh, creature destruction and stuff like that. Just drew into Terra Stomper. Can't be countered. 8-8 eight, eight, Trample. I think I'm really worried about him countering anything, but <laughs> cause he's as a black deck and counters are for blue decks. Yes, my friends, yes indeed. Turn two, plays, target player draws, uh, loses two life and draws two cards, plays it on himself or herself. leon has got a full hand. Turn three, turn two for me, still can't do anything. Yeah, we just sit here and wait, my friends. That's what we have to do. Don't really have much of a choice. Liliana continues to build build her hand. What is this now? 2-1. You can give it plus one, plus one by tapping a black. And then two goo shade. Okay, Liliana. I'm okay with that. Let's see what we drew into. Enters the battlefield again for life. If a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard, then you can put it in the battlefield instead. All right. Oh, wait, wait. One second. No, oh, stop it. You can <laughs> uh, put it in the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. Got it. All right, so turn three. What can we got three choices here? I think we're going to go straight with him. Star, star, hexproof. Right now, that's a 3-3. Three, three. We'll continue to grow as I get more forced in play. Uh, the big thing for me, though, with this is that, Lil again, Liliana's deck is all about creature destruction and stuff, so having a hexproof in play is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty vital for me. There. Swings for two. I, of course... Yeah, I'm going to take it, and Liliana will likely pump it up. Let's see if she pumps it up for... Ooh, doesn't. Saves her mana to play. There it is. Jet Medallion. Black spells cost one less to play. Her black spells. And she also is going to lose two life again to draw two cards. At 16 now. now this turn. Make that a 4-4. Four, four. And also... We have him. We've got our Prey Upon. Oh, I could use Prey Upon. I should use Prey Upon. Yeah, I should. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of his shade right now. Do Prey Upon. So this forces two creatures to attack each other. And in such that my 4-4 is going to kill his 2-2. And then I think we should go with... Should we get the Hydra in play now? Yeah, let's go ahead and get the Hydra in play right now. Start his doubling fiasco. And then we swing for four. Liliana now down to 12 HP. All right. Good. Liliana, what's next, my friend? What is next? What is next? Another black. Remember, all his black spells cost one less to play, so we effectively can afford six right now. And he does afford his six and play the corrupt. 
Deals damage to equal the number of swamps you control to target creature or player, and you gain life this way. So he's going to kill this off, dealing 5 damage to it, gaining 5 life, putting him up to 17. Luckily, though, he tapped out because of that. I just gained Primal Bellow. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 1 for each force you control, so I could throw that on him, making him an 8-8 eight, eight for the turn. Um, but I could also play this 4-4 four, four to gain 4 life. Yeah, I think I'd rather do it this way. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go like this. Gonna put the boar into play. Then we attack for four. And make it eight. Just like that. Bringing him down to nine. All right, Liliana. Hope you got something in your, up your sleeve here. Taps three, plays a shade. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a swamp card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Also, you can pump it up, as you can see, with black mana. Plus one, plus one. Gets the swamp, plays the swamp, and then nothing else. Look at that, look at that, lightning greaves. Equip creature has shroud and haste. So I can give, and it costs nothing to equip, so I can equip it. Uh, now, equipping is a sorcery speed, so I can't like do that during, I think so. I'm pretty sure equipping is sorcery speed. This card is affected or anything. Uh, it's a battlefield. Equipment gives a creature, it's when the equipped creature is a battlefield. Player can play an equip cost while the equipment is attached to a creature to attach it to a different creature instead, but I don't know the speed. That's the only, I think it's sorcery speed, I don't know, I'm not sure. All right, so got a couple choices here. I can either play him, or I can play this to give him shroud. But what's kind of the point? He's just gonna block, pump it up, and kill it. He can also kill this guy, unfortunately, by making him a four-four. So. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I almost don't want to attack right now because of the fact that he can block and kill. You know? What are you saying for? So you can pump this up to a 4 4, block this, and kill it. Um, so I almost don't want to. I'm going to go with him. Play him. 4 4 comes into play again for life. And then we'll say go. Uh, next turn. I'm gonna get him into play. I'm not going to attack. Not going to attack this turn. And then, as a result, he destroys this creature. Of course, that happens that way. All right, well, at least I gained four life out of all that. Uh, he played, let me show you guys. Murder, destroy target creature, and it is an instant. Now what, Liliana? Are you gonna save all your mana for blocking? Nope, you play a 6-6 six, six flying, comes into play, searches his library for a card, puts it into his hand. All right. Well, the pain in the butt about all that is that he now has a 6-6 six, six flying in play. I'm still at 22 though, so all is not lost. Um, I can't play any of these yet, I need six to play them, but I'm almost happy because now I can get this into play. And then once these do come into play, I can hexproof them. And we're actually going to go ahead and hexproof him. And I can also give them haste. So I'm uh, really happy that I have this in play. Once I get that extra mana, I can throw these guys into play, hexproof them, and just go crazy. Uh, now this is power and toughness equal to the number of green mana symbols. So it's at the very least a six, six, seven, eight. So this would be, um, so he would be an eight, eight trample when I play him. Unless, you know, I play this first or something. Which I may do, actually. Alright, we're going to say go. Not going to attack. That'd be silly of me. But at least all my creatures are hexproof now, so Liliana cannot target them to try to take them out or whatever. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, this turn I will be drawing into a forest. That would kind of be best case scenario. Lulon attacks for six. Well, okay. 
she's got something else, otherwise she would have saved that for a blocker. Right. Place a shade. It's the 2-1 that she can pump up. Still has 5 mana. Nothing else. There's the forest. Alright, so. This is uh, good for me. Now, the game is freezing right now. Well, not freezing, but it's not letting me start my fucking main phase. Thank you. Sorry I swore. I just get upset sometimes. Alright, so I think we're gonna throw him down first, Terror Stomper. Immediately, I'm going to equip him. Immediately, throw this on him. Is so it gonna respond by killing it? Nope. Okay. Now he's got haste, he's got trample, and he cannot be targeted. And, yeah, this is good. This is really good. We will hit with everything. I don't believe uh, Liliana is going to die this turn, but we'll be taking some significant damage. We hit with everything. It decides is taking the eight. I could sack this for four life, which I will do. Pumps it up. One, two. I think uh, the trade's about to take place here. She can, yeah, she's gonna do it. All right, so uh, is going to kill this off, unfortunately enough. That's a real bummer, actually. But Liliana's also now down to one. So, I'm at 20, Liliana's at 1. Plays. Yeah, okay. Put target creature card from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control, and she is taking this to gain 4 life. My 4 4. Liliana, attack phase, swings for 2. Gonna pump it up to 5. Let's take a look here, guys. Let's uh, think about this. She's got a 6-6 six, six and a 4-4 four, four to block with right now. I'm at 15. Liliana's at 5. And drew into Hexproof Creature. Whatever. This is going to be 6, 7, 8. This is going to be a 9-9. Nine, nine. Alright. Do we win right here? No. Equip him. Give him haste. Means he can attack this turn. Six, seven, eight, nine. This could be the win. Four. Uh, I think this is a win. I think we have a winner here. Double blocks takes eight. There's the win! I guess uh, they didn't really have a choice. Either way, it was a death because both my creatures had trample. Now remember, creatures with trample, their damage goes through uh, depending on the remainder of the damage compared to the toughness of the creature that blocks. As opposed to creatures without trample, if you just block it, no damage goes through. So that's why Liliana lost there because of my two trample creatures. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that victory there. Wow, very good. Alrighty. Ooh, fancy. Wow. Ravnica. <laughs> All right, so Ravnica is the next bet, and the first deck is a goblin deck, Krenko. Krenko the Goblin. I think we got time. Why don't we do it? All right, so... Krenko the Goblin deck, my friends. You almost, you know, I'm almost thinking fight fire with fire here. Um, I think that the, the green deck is way too slow. So, um, I, I hate to say it, but we're going back to the Goblin deck. I think that this is going to be really my, my best shot right now. All right, let's take a look here. Opening hand. Not the greatest. Draw a new hand. Meh. Not terrible, but also not the best. I'm really excited actually about having two of those guys. I guess that's really it. We're gonna keep it. We're just gonna see how this plays out here. All right, so again, it is a goblin deck versus goblin deck, probably almost mirrored. 
exception to the fact that we can swap out cards, you know, but Krenko, 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 first turn. Wow, I, I whoo -hoo. got pretty lucky that he didn't have anything first turn there. Uh, we're gonna go straight into a pile driver. Goblin pile driver. Pro blue, not a big deal. The big thing is that uh, whenever it attacks, it gets plus two, plus zero for each other attacking goblin. Also have Blister Stick Shaman, 2-1, enters the battlefield. Deals one damage to our creature player. Two of the goblin chieftains. Haste, all their goblins I control get plus one, plus one, and have haste. And then a Siege Gang Commander, 2-2, two, two, comes in the battlefield. I get three goblin tokens into play. I can tap two, sack a goblin to deal two damage to our creature player. Problem is, I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to get that much mana in this deck, but all right, he starts off right away shocking my goblin pile driver. So much for him being in play. Uh, we're probably going to go straight into a Chieftain unless he plays a Goblin here, in which case I'll probably play him to ping it. Uh, this is 2-2. Two, two. Alright, so I can't. He plays a 2-2 two, two with Battlecry, meaning when he attacks, the other attacking creatures get plus one power. Yeah, so it looks like I'm going to probably open up here with him. Drew into another mana. Good. Goblin Chieftain. I will not be attacking with him. I need to hold off on that, that's for sure. All right, Krenko, what do you got here, buddy? Place three, place a chieftain of his own. All right. He'll be attacking for three. There it is. Which I take. Don't want to lose my chieftain in that exchange. It really is a bummer that he actually has that in play, though. All right, so... I could play another Chieftain, or I could play him, ping him for one, and then save him to block. I could also just do that next turn, right? Well, next turn I'm, I'm gonna be able to play the Siege Gang Commander. So, why don't I do this? Another Chieftain. Next turn Siege Gang Commander comes through, and I think at that point, Things are going to change a bit. Uh, things are going to change a bit, and we're going to swing for three, which he won't block because it would not be worth it to get rid of his uh, his own chieftain. So siege gang commander next turn is pretty huge, guys. That's a, a a pretty big thing for me. I'm going to get not only him in play, but also three 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 goblins. He plays six six, but it cannot attack or block unless he's got more creatures than me. Goblin goon is good. But not really in this... Oh, actually, he's going to be able to hit for 7 right now. Wow. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hits with everything. Um, I need to win next turn. All right, well, no, I don't need to, but... Skip blocking. Let's see if I can win this turn. Down to 3. Siege Gang Commander. All right, let's take a look at how much damage this is. He's at 17. Four. All right. Six, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, ho, 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 I win. That is enough damage for the victory. Wow. Perfect. Krenko. Take that. Talk about a one-two punch, huh? I guess the first game wasn't exactly easily won but we did win it yeah the green deck would have done terribly against this which is pretty much what informed my decision to just go goblin against goblin um, I really felt like that was the best thing and that is going to do it for this video took out Liliana and Krenko thank you guys for watching tune in in the future for more MTG as we continue through the revenge campaign still a lot of fun hopefully you guys are still enjoying it thanks for watching keep watching and keep owning